This is Matt Dowling on ABC Golden Murray. Oh, yes, it is. At 18 minutes past seven, a combination of some great players from yesteryear and some top local cricket talent as well, male and female, is going to be on display at the Brugger Recreation Reserve tomorrow night for the start of the Cobram Brugger Masters Tour which will see the Australian Cricketers Association take on the Murray Valley Cricket Association. And among those representing the ACA, the Australian Cricketers Association, is Ryan Sidebottom, one of the uh, five famous sporting Sidebottom brothers from Talagarupna. Ryan revived his first-class career in spectacular style in in recent times. He headed to England a couple of uh, years ago or a couple of seasons ago, and he has since played, uh, well, I guess you'd say a starring role with County Club Warwickshire including a Warwickshire, mm, I should check on that, shouldn't I? Including a best bowling performance of 10 for 96. So uh, Ryan's back home for uh, the summer and he dropped into the studio yesterday for a chat. And uh, we started by talking uh, about his decision uh, to go to England, which was a pretty smart one, as it turned out. I'd been wanting to go over to England to, to experience what England brought, whether it be the cricket or, or life um, experience. But yeah, through circumstance, I couldn't quite make it, whether it be injury or or other commitments outside of cricket. But yeah, so I got the opportunity with uh, the Berksold Cricket Club to to go over and um, have a bit of a have a bit of a whack around and a run around, which was good and uh, really enjoyed it. And and uh, yeah, it sort of turned into a, a contract with Warwickshire County Cricket Club. Which went very well for you. You, you, you put put in some amazing um, or bowling performances in particular. I think you ten for ninety six, your best effort in a game, in a game this year. Tell us ab- about that and uh, what was it like to take that step up to county cricket and 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 go from there. Yeah, no, it was fantastic. Um, I don't think it gets much better than debuting at Lords. Um, yeah, <laughs> as a as a country kid. Coming from Shepherd, and you can't mm. imagine uh, walking out to play uh, cricket at Lords like I was trying to uh, trying to get down to watch the Test match versus South Africa uh, while I was there, but uh, couldn't quite eventuate get some tickets. And next thing you're out there, yeah, playing. yeah, absolutely. So it was a bit <laughs> That's of a one whirl- way to do it. Yeah, a bit of a whirlwind <laughs> from that. But um, no, I guess you know the ten for was fantastic for me to sort of to reassure me that I was actually good enough to compete at that level and. Mm. Um, you know, obviously it just stoked the fire a bit more to want me to want me to play a bit more, that's for sure. Well, how'd you go at Lords, by the way? So. Uh, yeah, not too bad. I held my own. So I think it was four for 36 uh, in the first innings and then uh, another two in the second innings as well. So that's Six wickets, that's pretty good. Yeah, six wickets on debut and uh, and we won the game, which is more important. So. People who followed your career will know that uh, you went down and you, you were playing in Melbourne at Carlton and then on to, to playing uh, Shield Cricket. Um, which ultimately, uh, I think you played the one one game in uh, against uh, against Tasmania, but then yeah, you you got injuries and that didn't that didn't help things. Was it great to go over there and sort of finally get to prove yourself at the at that that bigger level again? Yeah, definitely. I think it was a point um, to myself, let alone uh, everybody else. Mm. So um, you know, to go over there and get rewarded with a contract and and to hold my own and do quite well, um, you know, sort of put me in a good good space going forward so no but it was it was more I knew that I could I could compete at that level but it was more just proving the point to myself about that you, I can actually do it. Is it then a, a full professional lifestyle for you or do you have to do your work as well how does it work for you? No full professional so if we're not uh, if we're not playing then we're we're playing in the second team so the yeah. second team are pretty similar again there's uh, not many games over here for the second team to to play but when you get over in England, they're they're playing just as much as what the first team are. All right, and as far as you won, uh, you won the Division Two for War- Warwickshire, so they're up into the uh, Division One of County Cricket. Yeah, so we uh, unfortunately we got relegated uh, to Division Two last season, but um, you know we we bounced back and played some some pretty good cricket this year, and uh, we're rewarded with the Division Two title. So yeah, another challenge next year to step up and and play in Division One. How big a, a, a- difference will that be and, and how much of a difference do you, how much of a difference does that make to your own game do you reckon um to be honest i've only sort of played half a dozen uh division one games so i'm sort of still pretty new to the experience mm. but i think it is a little bit of a step up most of your bigger counties are in in division one so um it's a different standard of cricket different different style of cricket so i think it's a bit more of a slow burn uh, four day cricket so you see a few more draws where it's a bit more fast paced and uh, very results based um, cricket in Division 2 What's it been like coming home? We'll talk in a second about the Masters Tour and the game being played at Baruga on uh, 
on Friday, but overall, you, you haven't been home that long, have you? So I guess it's a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, no, I've only been home for a week now. So, um, yeah, definitely a lot of catching up to do. So it's it's been pretty busy trying to uh, fit everyone in. Um, being from a big family, uh, it's been good to come home and see them and um, spend some time with the nieces and nephews. But, um, yeah, no, it's it's been good. I've just been able to relax and, and uh, chill out for a little while. And, uh, again, many people will know you're one of uh, f- five brothers and um, uh, Ryan kindly listed them for me before the interview just so I get it right in the order. So Trent, uh, Tyson, Josh, yourself and then Steele, uh, of course. Now, the, the, the rest of the boys, did they play, apart from Steele, did they play in all in Talagarutna's flag-winning side this year? Uh, Tyson did. Uh, yep. Trent was... Trent was involved in the coaching side. He yep. was a backline coach, and then Josh was just involved in the reserves this year. And there was three cousins as well, so we had Mitchell, Dylan, and Lachlan uh, all play as well. So I think it was it was a, a great effort by the boys. All right, I've no doubt you watched the AFL Grand Final, and I know with Steele, obviously, you know, playing for Collingwood and uh, such a such a prominent player uh, for important player for them, but not the result for the Magpies. Was that tough to watch? Yeah, unfortunately, they couldn't quite get over the line, but um, you know, super proud of of what he uh, was able to achieve throughout the season. I tried to keep a close eye on it as much as I could. Um, I got to watch a few games, which is fantastic. But um, yeah, I was I was definitely up nice and early to watch the watch the grand final. But a shame they couldn't quite get over the line. Yeah, and just growing up in that, you you, you and your your four brothers, uh, you know, it, and and obviously all, all of you very sporting. What was that like? Uh, you wouldn't have any any shortage of uh, uh, someone to have a kick with as a kid, anyway. Yeah, definitely. No, it was um, it got heated at times, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it was fantastic. That, yeah. um, you know, growing up in Talagarupna, we backed onto the to the footy and cricket ground. So if we weren't in the backyard um, kicking the footy or mm. or doing whatever with a ball in our hands, we were definitely over the over the back fence doing it over there. So um, yeah, no, it was great. Obviously, we're all sort of pretty similar in age. There's only ten mm. years between us, so we're all sort of pretty close. And Steele and I are obviously the closest of the of the lot. So. Um, yeah, definitely didn't have, uh, didn't run short of partners to to kick the footy with. That was for sure. And you all still get along pretty well. Yeah, yeah, we all we all make the uh, <laughs> make the most of the chances that we get to to spend to, some time together now. Um, obviously, still in in uh, Melbourne, and mm. myself being in England for most of the most of the year doesn't. Uh, we don't get together very often, so we make the most of it. Make the most of it. Now, uh, talk. Let's talk about Friday night. Then this is the it's the Cobram Brugger Masters Tour, and it's featuring a uh, a team from the Australian Cricketers Association Masters, of which you are a part of, playing the Murray Valley Cricket Association squad. This is happening on Friday. There's cl- clinics as well that day. Can you tell, want to tell us a bit more about it? Yeah. So um, you know, it's fantastic to to get invited and. Uh, uh, to go down and experience it, I've I've never been involved in the Masters before, but um, you know, looking forward to getting involved. And you know, I think it's a great, uh, it's great for you know the Masters, like um, for myself and uh, everyone else, to get involved and give a little bit back to to country cricket. Um, you know, being a country lad and um, taking the plunge and moving to Melbourne, um, it was fantastic for me. And mm. um, I wish I I wish I was involved in the Masters tour when they toured um, down here. I can't remember what year it was, but. Uh, Tyson was involved. In, well, my brother Tyson was involved yep. in that game, and um, I remember just sitting there watching on. And you know, it was it was a fantastic uh, experience. Now I think uh, there's a golf day uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow being Thursday, which is when this will go to air. So there's a, a, a golf day on the, on the Thursday, and then uh, the clinics during the day. And I think the game begins at the Baruga Recreation Reserve at six pm. And just having a look through the. Um, well, the Masters squad, there's some pretty good names there. Andy Bickles uh, in there and uh, Wayne Phillips, I see, and uh, your good self, Ryan, as well. And uh, and it's both uh, men and women cricketers too, which is terrific. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's it's great great opportunity for, for not only uh, the men but the women to get involved as well. Um, you know, we've got Ben Dunk that's coming down as well who's who's still playing Big Bash cricket and... Uh, but uh, I'm, yeah, obviously looking forward to getting and rubbing shoulders with those guys and um, having a good laugh when we when we uh, get out and play the game. Are you going to play many play much at all, or any many games locally this summer? While yeah, you're... so I've committed to play a few games with the Northerners Cricket Club, just with my brothers, brothers and yeah. um, so that'll be good. But I'm also playing some T20 cricket in Melbourne for the Greenvale Kangaroos as well. So. Yeah, the schedule will be uh, a little bit busy. I'll be back and forth from Melbourne a little bit, but um, no, look, looking forward to it. Thank you for coming and having a chat to us. I think it's great. The, the, the congratulations on your success in English cricket and uh, have a great night uh, at Baruga on, uh, on Friday night. And 
And good luck with the with the summer and playing a bit of local cricket as well. Sounds like you'll have fun. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me. Ryan Sidebottom there. Good fella. And uh, good luck if you're playing the Northerners <laughs> in Shep cricket, Shepparton Cricket this uh, this summer. And you've, you've, got to, you've got to face up to uh, to Ryan. I'm sure he'll uh, test you out. So uh, it'll be great great to see him back and playing in some, some local cricket, though. So just to reiterate, the, uh, the Masters Tour, the golf day is today at the Baruga Golf Club. And there's an evening at the Cobram Top Pub tonight that everyone's welcome to, to catch, you can catch up with some of those uh, cricketing names there. I'm sure Ryan will be, uh, be amongst them. And then uh, the ga- there will be cricket clinics tomorrow. The Masters will conduct clinics tomorrow, tomorrow being Friday. And th- uh, this is the important one, the T20 match, uh, which is the Masters versus the Murray Valley Cricket Association, will be played tomorrow night at the Baruga Recreation Reserve. And that game begins at, uh, <clears throat> at 6 p.m. where you'll see Ryan playing and, of course, some great other uh, names as well, uh, Ben Dunk and uh, we've got Andy Bickle, I think got, got mentioned there, Wayne, Wayne Phillips uh, as well. So uh, it's a great lineup of players and should be a great night of cricket tomorrow night at, uh, at the Baruga Recreation Reserve.